Hey, this is Chef Nick, and today we're gonna to be talking cauliflower steaks. I'm sure you're aware you've seen cauliflower on menus everywhere. It's exploded in the last couple of years, but I'm gonna show you how to cut the steaks, what to do with the byproducts of it, and also to incorporate lots of flavor. Vegetable cookery has been on the rise for a long time, and I believe this is your best bet opposed to plant-based analogs or faux proteins, because you can treat this with proper care and get higher margins for your return. So let's show you how to do the steaks. The first thing you wanna do, and I have this already trimmed up, is take the leaves off the stem. So it's uh, really nice and clean. And then basically you wanna use the stem end as your guide to cut it. The stem is what's gonna keep the steaks intact. And without the stem, it's just gonna crumble into florets and you won't have the steaks. So basically we're just gonna cut alongside the, the stem end here, keeping a flat hand. And this is gonna be our excess. And then what you're gonna have is basically one fat piece here that you can cut into two pieces if you're careful enough. And this would be your two steaks. And so you don't get a lot of steaks obviously out of one head of cauliflower, but you have to figure out ways to utilize the byproduct. So a couple things you can do. Uh, one would be taking these pieces, right? And putting in a food processor to make cauliflower rice, which is super simple and it's something that we're gonna incorporate into this dish today. Or we'd be breaking these up into florets, right? And putting this somewhere else on a menu as a side component or a vegetable, uh, maybe with a, a separate entree. But this you can charge more money for calling it a steak and making that more the focal part of the dish. Um, and then use these other pieces somewhere else throughout your menu. But that's the good way to be able to utilize it. So um, what we're gonna do now is just very simply uh, put salt and pepper on these and some oil, and then we're gonna take it to the grill. And we're just gonna let this go for about two to three minutes on each side, just to mark them. And then we're gonna apply a glaze and throw it in the oven to finish. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply this glaze. So this is just a little bit of, I'll call it mole spices. We'll talk about that further at the plate up. And a little bit of honey and lime juice. And this will give it some color and also caramelize onto the cauliflower. And uh, this will go right in the oven and bake on as well. Okay, so now we have our cauliflower steaks out of the oven. They have a nice char on it. They've got that caramelization from the glaze that we applied. So as I alluded to, the glaze was really simply, these are what I'm calling mole spices. So it's chilies and uh, some aromatic spices. There's some almond in there some things you would find typically in kind of a mole from Hispanic cuisine. And that's in there with the honey and lime. And we just quickly sauteed some of the cauliflower rice to incorporate that byproduct into that dish to reuse it and repurpose it. And uh, then we have the butternut squash puree. So this also has the, the mole spices that are in there as well. And it's got a little bit of cream, chicken stock, uh, roasted garlic and onion and some aromatics. And that recipe is a part of this. So you can download that as well. And so it's all about this vegetable cookery, right? All coming together here in unification to make this wonderful dish. So the first thing we need to do is put this down and I'm just gonna let this kind of go from one side to the other side here, like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our cauliflower steaks. I'm just gonna put two of these down here, one on top of each other. And then to kind of finish this and as a garnish, um, we've got a little bit of Parmesan cheese. You could use cotilla cheese if you wanted to, um, but this grated on a microplane will make a nice kind of cloud of Parmesan cheese. And then for uh, a further garnish, we've got just some uh, strips of butternut squash that we dropped in the fryer just for a textural component. And it'll add some height as well. Got that. And then if you wanted to, you could throw some more cilantro leaves down just for more color. And that'll do it. And there you have your cauliflower steaks.